today we're going to be talking about four common diseases of roses, uh, three of which are fungi and one of which is a virus. Um, these diseases are common in Nebraska and most of the uh, United States where we can grow roses. Uh, unfortunately, we can find these diseases. The first disease I'd like to talk about today is called black spot of rose. And as the name implies, the symptoms of this disease occur as black spots on the leaves and sometimes on the stems. The black spots can start either at, on the lower leaves or on the upper leaves. This disease is favored by um, really moist conditions, so high humidity and a lot of rainfall. The fungus needs standing water on the leaves to be able to infect. It's a residue borne disease, which means that it's gonna survive our winters in plant debris. So one of our best control methods for this particular disease is sanitation. So if you do see those black spots on your leaves or on your canes, you wanna go ahead and remove them so that that fungus isn't present again. It's the winter time, so it's a good time to go out there right now and do some of the sanitation and remove these diseased canes and some of the foliage that may have fallen to the ground to prevent those fungi from infecting again the next year. So that's black spot of rose. Uh, the second disease I'd like to talk about is rose rust. And rose rust uh, is a very vivid disease. Um, it's very easy to diagnose because it creates these bright orange pustules on the leaves, on the petioles, and on the stems. Uh, this again is a fungal disease and can overwinter here in Nebraska in the leaves and infected debris. So again, when thinking about management of rose rust, sanitation is key. Um, uh, so remove those uh, diseased canes in the winter and early spring before the, the temperatures rise and we get a lot of moisture. The third disease I'd like to talk about is powdery mildew. And again, this is a fungal disease. And as the name implies, the symptoms are a powdery mildew that's formed on the leaf surface, on the upper leaf surface. And that powdery uh, mildew is, is white in color. This disease is again favored by high humidity and can start anywhere on the plant, the upper leaves or the lower leaves. Um, as long as there's high humidity, the fungus can form, unfortunately. So for all three of these diseases, which are fungal and attack the foliage, uh, management is removal of the residue um, in the winter and in the spring before the weather in, um, increases in temperature and we get a lot of moisture. Also, for all three of these diseases, there are preventative fungicides that can be applied before the onset of the disease to help prevent it. So if you are in a situation where you have had history of this disease, you may want to think about a foliar fungicide application for black spot, rose rust, or powdery mildew. The fourth disease I'd like to talk about is rose rosette. And rose rosette is actually caused by a virus that's vectored around by a tiny little insect called the aryphyid mite. Rose rosette is defined, uh, the symptoms are defined by um, tiny bunches of red leaves that never expand into a fully developed leaf and never turn green. Also, you might see a random cane here or there that has prolific thorning, uh, more thorning than you would normally see on a rose plant. And those are all good indications of rose rosette virus. Uh, there isn't a whole lot you can do if you have rose rosette. Um, what you need to do is just remove that entire plant from the area. The thing with rose rosette, however, is that if you want to plant another rose bush in that same location, that's fine. The virus will not survive in those conditions, but it may come in on another aerophyid mite later on in the lifetime of that rose bush. So the best way to manage these diseases is to be on the lookout uh, to make sure that you don't have any of the black uh, black spot pustules or the rose rust pustules or white powdery substance or a profuse caning with, with uh, profuse thorning on your bushes. Be out there, scout, make sure you don't have any of these diseases. And if you do, some of our best management strategies are just to go ahead and remove that material from the environment to help reduce the amount of disease. There are also resistant rose varieties out there uh, for all four of these diseases. Mm -hmm.